Okay, Wardlow's the war dog. Is that I'm what his the name war is? Hog. <laughs> wow. I'll be the war hog. I can't stop doing this. This is him, dude. That's sick. You. I, you look cool. I, hope I do. I hope you don't do it that often. No, yes, yeah, sure you I do, do it a lot. lot. Okay. And no, it's disgusting. You can hear oh, his yeah. tongue uh, crackling. I know. Ew, stop. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, well, we're going to think we're cool. stood by a fire. It's a more crackling wow. marshmallow. Ew, snap, crackle, um, pop. Uh, yeah, we're just going to we're gonna jump in. Just jump in. There's so much to talk happened. about. This this is is so much about. 166. 166. Okay, welcome wow. to Football Podcast, episode 166. We're back. We're back. We're here with Anthony, Augie, Joe, and Vince. Um, we, We've been we've been gone for like... Two months. It's two bad. Months. It's bad. So, uh, thank you guys Wait, for like. We've been going for two months. It's like April. end of April. Uh, maybe a, m- a month. A month. No. Yeah, it's, it's like a month. Whatever. That's a month. That's literally exactly a month. Missed, we, pro- we probably missed like four or five episodes. Yeah. Let's so, just call it a month. Okay. We, we, we were gone for a month. Sorry. Uh, people who checked in, thank you. Like, yo, where's the episode? We're you okay. Because a lot of shit happened. Yeah. A lot of stuff happened. Anthony is now a married man. Number yeah. one. Wow. Woo. He's now a married man. I Baby got my Green Lantern ring. Oh, wow. Okay. Um. And is married. Amazing. We had the bachelor party before the week before. before. The week before. Then the the week of the wedding was like super fun yeah. wedding. Honestly, we all stood up. We all, we all stood, stood up. up. It was great. Yeah. Uh, Joe and I were the best men. Vince, we all, we all stood up. Vince was a gr- Vince was <laughs> not. <laughs> v- hey, Vince was a tall guy that day. Vince was the tall guy. I actually wasn't. No, in the in the bridal party you were. Yeah, yeah, you were the, you were the tall, guy. tall guy. Wow, he won't and, let it go. Uh, he won't let it go. Great wedding. Oh, great wedding. Cottage was great. So we're gonna we're gonna go through all that shit. The cottage. The cottage. So we're gonna go through the cottage. I, there are things we should not say. No, 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 no. <laughs> but like, okay, so like, basically, it was what sixteen guys went to the cottage. Nothing crazy. As a happened. bachelor, we went to the Bach- for it. That, that, that was the bachelor, yeah. Yeah, so it was it was like a fun time. Everyone's like friends and family, so yeah. It was that's like, what was cool about the entire wedding experience is that everyone was so tight knit. So oh, cool. dude, I feel and like made, I feel like we got tighter. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. You know Definitely. what I mean? I and it made yeah. everything smoother because like everyone was on the same page. Everyone was talking together. Like, yo, do you need this? Like, it's just it was literally like I've only stood up in like. Three wedding, two weddings, no three. Three. That's one actually that like, I remember. That's, that's actually like a lot. Yeah, but I was like, when I was like two. Oh fuck, I'm sitting in sure three too. I stood, I stood up in your parents' wedding as like the, the ring, boy, whatever. The ring uh, hog. Yeah, the world. <laughs> Four low. And uh, yeah, it was just super smooth, man. It was and it was so fun. It was really fun. I could have partied all night. You were going hard, you bro. Were going hard. Biggie Smalls came on. The DJ played Biggie <laughs> Smalls, and this guy, <laughs> please tell you, thought he was what? on the streets of Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so yeah, okay. So the 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 image I'll have never get in my head at the rehearsal dinner we had like a little like a little party after with like music and stuff, and the DJ played uh, what, what was it? Was it Big, ju- was uh, it juicy? No, no. Uh, hypnotize. Hypnotize. Yeah, yeah, hypnotize. Hypnotize. He played hypnotize, <laughs> and I I was at the time I, I had to like you know try to be an adult. That was and, unreal. Like mingle with like the other adults, but these guys were all dancing and stuff, right? So I'm, I'm looking over. Hypnotize comes on. <laughs> I swear to you, I looked at Augie and like all the boys are crowding him because like they know that's his song. All the boys are crowding him. Augie's in the center of the dance floor and it looked like he was levitating. Like I, I, I've known this, guy for, I've known this guy for 20 plus years and I've never seen something like that in my life come out of this guy's body. Like he was doing motions I've never even imagined you could do. You know what? For some reason, after that, like the rehearsal and the, and the wedding, like I feel like I'm a better dancer. Bro. Man, you I feel guys, like we all learned. You guys we danced, unlocked. bro. You guys, we danced hours, hours. Ow, straight. You hours. guys danced bro. hours. My watch. Straight, so I was wearing man. my Apple Watch. I tried. Like, I burned ten thousand calories. No, I burned like three thousand calories. Cause I was jumping. Yeah, oh, I, I just can't believe. I was watching. I was like, that, dude, my feet were that's killing prom me after season Augie right oh, there. That's bro, grade twelve Augie. Little backstory. All white though. suit. Little backstory. Cause okay, when I came on, I was literally leaving. Cause I'm like, bro. I'm so thirsty. I need to get like water. I'm leaving. Yeah, Biggie water. comes on, and I'm literally out of breath. But I'm like, I can't let everyone down. So I'm literally rapping, and in my head, I literally <laughs> felt my head getting lighter. And I'm Wait, like, that's why you're floating, oh, dude. I literally, I was sense. like, I, I'm that gonna explains. pass out. Nice. I'm gonna pass out. Like at one point, you guys were like blurry. I was like, I'm gonna pass out. Hey, I'm gonna wow. pass out. What that explains dream? everything. Hey, you didn't. You did not have to go that hard, bro. But. I couldn't. Could you imagine well, in the middle I of that? I just left and went. Get I, water. Like, I, I couldn't know. let them no. down. Okay, but be honest though, he's not wrong. 
He's not wrong. Yeah, if he was on the dance floor during that song, no. you, you, we all would have been he a little disappointed. The, yeah. the night might have been ruined. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Like, yeah, but it was so fun. War, Warlow lives. Warlow, Warlow lives. lives. Yeah, no, it was a good time, man. Good time. Man. It was good. Um, the wedding was awesome. Everything went well. I'm just glad everything went well. That's the main thing. If, if you're out there getting married, just, just, <laughs> you're out there. just get past dinner. If you're listening to us, passed out in the church. It's all good, man. Why'd you, yeah, you don't know. You don't take instruction at all. No. Listen. No. Okay, so my job... He was My the job. most nervous I've ever seen. I was more life. nervous. Than Absolutely, you. dude. I was. I wasn't nervous. I was anxious. Yeah, I, like you I, had wanted, a, yeah, I, like, I was pacing was back nervous. and forth for like a couple like minutes. I was like, let's just do this. The you thing, were nervous. Like, no, you were we, like, I'm gonna screw up because I don't want to mess up. So when we were waiting, like we were like waiting. Bro, right? you stand there. Bro, no, I, no, no, no. You don't understand. I had to tell this guy when to walk. Oh my no, God, but this bro. is the thing. I'm wearing my watch and I f- I'm I feel my watch go off and it was like oh high, yeah. high heart rate detected. It was like 130. <laughs> And it was like, yo, like, <laughs> settle you down. I was like, I'm going to be, you know, those videos on YouTube where like they pass out at the church. I'm like, I'm going to be that guy. I thought was, that hey. too. I thought that too for a second. <laughs> yeah. Because it was hot. I was like, I was, oh my God, what if I'm that guy? <laughs> and like, I'm going to pass out. But everything went fine, man. It would have been Augie. If it would have been me. It, it, yeah. it would have been, been yeah. me. Yeah. Would've that would have been, been funny. But whatever. But yeah, it is what it is. Good time. Uh, the week before we went to the... Two weeks before, bro. Two weeks before. We went to literally an oasis. Yeah. A beautiful cottage in Muskoka, which is like... It's a place in Ontario, That's Canada. Uh, it had like a, a, a waterfall like running through the property. It was like on the lake. There was Literally, a creek. There was a creek. Yeah, was no, a waterfall. Wow, we were next to Niagara did Falls. Waterfall? You did say yeah. waterfall. Okay, creek. Well, Ariel was It was there. beautiful. No, it was literally beautiful. <laughs> no, but it was You don't have to insane. oversell it. It was Atlantis. You it was insane. The movie? No, it was good. We made 90, 90 pogos. Okay, you know, what, know what I wanted to say about? Yeah, we made a shitload of pogos. Augie literally made... Pogo I don't, sponsor us. You could have, like, fueled... I don't know how many Taco Bells with the ground meat you made. I could have, I could have bought a franchise and I had... How many pounds of ground taco meat did we you make? We bought 18 pounds of meat for 16 guys. That's Why? so... No, and 12 fuck. guys. 12 guys. guys and Joe doesn't eat meat. Why would you do that? Because he's... So, I don't know. Yeah. Pound this, and a quarter dude, meat. this guy thought we were going to run out of food. Are you kidding me? Food, if we were there one more day, it would have been perfect. Yeah, but you for food. You I was worried. worried, but if we weren't uh, like, you don't want to run out of food. No, no, no this guy. No, that's the worst thing. But know what I was gonna say? I was gonna say that weekend showed me. It taught me a lesson. Beer is dead. It beer, is. Beer is dead. I want Anthony to have a floor here because he, he said it's this true. on the podcast. It's dead. Before. I, I endorse on the message. podcast. I, I l- listen. Four below endorses this. All right. Hundred percent. If, if there's a company out there that wants to back us, we'll take it. It's your turn. Wow. It's your no, turn. we've been saying it. We've been saying it. I've no, no, but you have to explain. No, but this like explain. was the nail in the yeah, coffin. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like I, I don't know if I'll go back. Whoa! Like, I, like I, I I'll, obviously I'll have that. beer, but like it's I, I don't know I don't know if I'll ever buy like a twelve pack of beer or a six or a six pack for myself ever. I'm I'm with you. I, th- I don't think I'll ever do it. I'm with you. It's what, the right move. I'll have a it's pint at a bar at a pub, but right. like. I'll never do it. When they all f- started coming out with seltzers, uh, yeah. Explain last what year, we're even talking about, <laughs> right? Like seltzers started coming out like Coors Light seltzers, all that kind of stuff, right? Like uh, White Claw, all that. Anyway, Social Light, whatever. So they were like, like the like the macho man stereotype, like oh you can't drink that, like it's for like little kids and whatever. Right? Yeah, it was like, it was 18, just like considered light, yeah. yeah right, like little kids drink that, and I was like, hey, like whatever, whatever. So I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm like, man, these are like. These are it. Like, this is exactly what you need anytime you're drinking. If you're playing a drinking game, again, uh, legal age, eh? <laughs> Legal age. Uh, I didn't say Wink, it. wink. Uh, but anyway. But, like, because you, you don't feel bloated. You don't no. feel like you're wearing the alcohol after having six cans so of it. So true. Right? That's the thing. So true. Like, you don't feel your gut. Like, it's on me. Like, yeah. get it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't feel that. It's a variety of flavors. Like, I know beer has different notes and stuff, but, like, this is a completely different flavors. Like, you can get so many different flavors. And it's just, like, I don't know. They're just so light. It's like you're drinking sparkling water, but at the same time, it's doing the job that you want. Buzzed. Like, that you want, right? Yeah. You want to keep that steady buzz, and it, it, it gets the job done. It's more refreshing. It is. Way and more refreshing. Better and flavors. I've noticed I don't get hungover. Yeah. Well, that's because there's like no grams of sugar in and half water. Water. It's Or like maybe very, one gram. Very hard. To yeah. Get it's very, but, but it's, but you still get that buzz. Like, you still get and, that and, buzz. And uh, like a testament to like how big seltzers are getting is like, our our group of guys that went to the college like like we drink like we like to have oh, fun we party we drank so 
many. So many seltzers, and I think it was two beers, one beer. No, we brought a we case brought a case of thirty, of and we brought back twenty eight. <laughs> like that's just a testament to like what we're saying. I'm not, we even, through, like, I'm not even mad about we it. We went through like two hundred fifty seltzers after the first day. We're like, we need to buy more. Yeah, and obviously, like, there's still a yeah. place for beer. Like, yeah, like, like I, I said, yeah, like dude. a steak or a burger. No, like right. I went, I literally went to a pub the other night, and I, 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 I got a beer. Like right. it was it's perfect. Nice in that setting. Yeah, for sure. of course. Exactly. Or like if someone offers me a beer, I'm not gonna say no. But me personally, like I don't know if I'll have like a case of beer at my house. But like when we like, have, have like fucking seltzer, a day that yeah. sails away in the harbor, I'm bringing seltzer. And I, uh, but remember I was telling you, I was like, man, like beer is like fading away. Like we need so many seltzers. That's all people are gonna drink. Like during the day, I didn't believe the hype. Them. I didn't believe the man, hype. Man, people are drinking seltzer. I, I, this is what I thought. People are drinking seltzers all during the day, right? It's nice and hot, refreshing. Then at night you switch to like mixed drinks or like whatever. If you like hard liquor, you drink it straight. I don't know, whatever you like you or know beer. It. You know it. People were barely drinking that. All no. we drank was Captain Morgan rum, because we're like pirates and true and seltzers. Hey, shout and out rum chata and, and rum chata. And- rum chata. Shout out rum chata. Anthony's rum chata. wedding brought back hypnotic. Yeah, yo, it was we two thousand and ten. Really did. Yo, I, uh, yeah, we brought back. You're gonna start seeing it trending on Instagram because we brought it back. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, I notice it more now. The venom like, effect is it. happening. I'm even hypnotic. You. Even hypnotic. I've, Sky blue is. I literally, I literally heard the other day from someone after your wedding. Right, I was I was in like a tea shop, and they're like, "Oh, you know what's really good to do on like hot summer days? Like, make this tea turn into ice, like iced tea, and you put a, a splash of hypnotic in it." I was like, yeah, "What?" It's, it's she's like, "Yeah, she's like, you know that that drink like everyone had in like high school or whatever, like but like oh, in, in tea, in, in tea. That's, that's not different. A you make like an iced tea, and then you put oh, it that's straight. So it was good. <laughs> Comes out. But well, we're bringing it back. We brought it back. Actually. I was gonna I was gonna say I was gonna, it is back. I was gonna say, but and you had a surprise. You had a couple surprises at the cottage, eh? Oh, my God, bro. Okay, so, like, huge surprise at the cottage. And then uh, we'll, we'll continue. Okay, so we get to the cottage. Uh, like it's because the like listeners said, know what's going to... What's up? The listeners know. Why don't you explain what's yeah, going on? Yeah, yeah. Let me get to this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Because I was like, I, I'm like, I hope this makes sense. Oh, my Looks God. Fun. Anyway. Go. Are you serious? I'm sorry. Damn, John. Anyway. Okay, so we have uh, all our, our, our family and friends, right? Cousins, all that. Great time. I'm a friend. A couple of them couldn't make it. We were very sad, out of town, all that. Just just work schedules, couldn't do it. So we sit there. We're sitting there. We're just like, okay, let's have a meeting. Let's like figure out like who's sleeping where, what we're doing for dinners, blah, 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 all that stuff. The The door is like that. Uh, it's like a frosted glass on the front door. So you like can't see outside. And someone's like approaching. So we're like, oh, like it's just the owner like greeting us because it was like an Airbnb. And, like, whatever. So, like, I'm waiting. And, like, I was kind of nervous because, like, man, is this person going to tell us, like, keep it down and all that? Like, we just got here. The Stone Cold Steve Austin theme song plays. Wow. Of, I don't know nice. where. I don't even know where the speaker was. <laughs> opened The door opened. And, like, I, I, I'm going to say my cousin. He's Augie and Joe and, and Vince's actual cousin. He's been on cousin. the podcast. He's been on the podcast. Joe, I didn't even say his name okay, yet. Okay, sorry. John, anyway, the gun. Victor. He's been on the show before. <laughs> Huge fan of the show, family, family, friend, family, out, everything, man. brother. Out, family. Victor pops in drinking. Uh, was he drinking seltzers? Yeah, he was. He was drinking <laughs> seltzers. Bro, I, I left him out for him on the porch. He was drinking seltzers <laughs> like Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Stone Cold Steve. Like everyone went crazy. Was awesome. Everyone, a few people that uh, were there, I've always heard of Victor. So he lives in Sault Ste. Marie. He's, He's a, a legend. legend. So it's, it's far away from us. He's a legend. We always talk about him. And a few people like didn't even know what he looked like, but were like, "That's Victor." Like <laughs> the that's, energy. That's the end. En- yes, Vince. Exactly. The that's the energy this legend gives off. They were just like, "Oh, that must be Victor." <laughs> and like, how do you get that out of someone just walking in drinking Coors Light uh, seltzers? Dude, right. It was, it was, it was so incredible. Perfect, like man. I was taken aback because like, like Augie, I think Augie and Joe and Justin. We were the only we were ones that knew. Because he came to their like, house. Yeah. Yeah. So it was just a huge shock, and I was like, "All right, like this party went from like ten to an 11. Like, dude. Like, I literally Wait. saw like the people that knew Vic, like I saw their souls leave their body because oh they knew God. how like how dangerous, how yeah. deadly it was gonna get. Yeah, we looked we looked at Vince because Vince is like, yo, this floor parties, all this stuff, like joking around. And I was looking, I was like, you asked for it. No, <laughs> now, now, now it's it. happening. Literally got Dude, it, it literally so. went from like hundred percent to hundred twenty percent that week. Hundred twenty percent. Hundred percent. Dino. Hundred twenty percent. Dino. 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 <laughs> uh, but then, but then. He's like telling me he's like oh, I had to choose between the wedding and the and the bachelor party, so I chose this. I was like honestly, like I appreciate it's it perfect, so much. Yeah, it worked out beautiful. So the night before the wedding, we're like one last time. All the boys will have a cigar outside, like 
not that I'm going anywhere, but you know what I mean. Just like a little tradi- ceremony, whatever. <laughs> I open the door. And Victor's here again. <laughs> He's here again. He opens the door here at Augie and Joe's house. I'm like, you got to stop doing this to me. Twice. I, I'm going to pass up. Imagine you walk down the steps right now. That one was crazier <laughs> than the cottage. Yeah. He literally called the night, Dude, the rehearsal night. It was a Nicholas Sparks movie. No, like literally the rehearsal, that was game day the rehearsal night. Like, we're sending him pictures like, bro, wish you were here. Wish you were here. He texts my dad and he's like, yo, I'm coming. I'm coming tomorrow. Don't tell anyone. And like 12 hours later, this guy shows up at our house. Dude, like, this guy incredible. moved around like his it's entire going, life oh, yeah. to come to that wedding. Yeah, it was yeah. just awesome. Incredible. It was awesome. Like, incredible. Um, it was, it was a good time. That's brotherhood. That's that brotherhood. Is. That's why we do this podcast. That's why we're doing this. That's why we do a building a community. Yes, man. I jumped so I jumped. I, you were still floating. I, in my head, I was going like 12, 13 feet in the air. And honestly, you know what I loved about, <laughs> about the wedding? Reality, Obviously, were, like, tying the odds, like, the end goal but like just like being with all you guys like all like obviously i'm with these guys all the time i'm saying like our extended like the, family yeah, friends yeah. like we're all together all like what is it like 12 of us yeah for like two guys. weeks straight and it was so much fun and bonding like legit bonding i'm not even like joking yeah like, so much bonding bro i was on my honeymoon and even my wife was like I miss them. Like, we were having separation anxiety <laughs> on an island. Paradise. Like, you can get food and drinks whenever you want. And I was sitting there thinking, like, I miss these guys. Dude, like, we I, still, I, th- that group chat is still alive. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we still, no, even I, after a couple days, you, I know you're going to say, a couple yeah. days after the wedding, even a couple weeks, I, I felt like I was having, like, withdrawals. Yeah. I was, like, lonely. Well, I felt that yeah. too, man. I was yeah. like, where's the party? Like, no, like, honestly, the next day after the wedding, I woke up and I was like, it's done. Yeah. yeah. Man, it's done. This is it. The Sunday, what do I do now? The Sunday after, like, we said bye to you guys, I, and, like, the next Monday, like, after, I was like, it's over. It's like going back to school. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. I was that like summer was done. Yeah. It was like, your friends are leaving to go to college, and you're like, I'll see you next, I guess I'll yeah. see you next like, summer. Like, Buster moved away. Yeah, like, it was oh. weird. And and everything like, comes back to Earth with you guys. Baxter. Everything. You text me literally day four of the co- or, uh, your honeymoon, and you're like, yo, I actually miss you guys. I'm Dude, like, I was yeah, on the too, beach. Man. So we went to, I went to like Barbados. So I was on the beach watching Bad Batch on my phone. <laughs> That's a fucking Always stay, That's hey, a fucking honeymoon. Always stay, stay true. Stay real, man. Stay real. Stay true. So I was watching Bad Batch on the beach, and that's when I texted Augie at like, the group chat. I was like, man, like I miss you guys, <laughs> man. Like, no, but we're back. No, we're back, man. Hey, we're back. We're back. we're back. So that that's where we've been. That's where we, that was a long intro, we're but we're yeah, we're back. So oh that, fuck, that that's was, the intro. Now you know where we are. Yeah, so we're, we're back. We're. Now. So we're back giving you the the nerdiness though. Um oh, yeah. We're back. Yeah, so uh enough we, of real life stuff. Let's yeah, get we're going, into we're it. Dude, into there's it. so much to talk we're gonna about. Save to, we're going to save Obi-Wan to the end so if people haven't watched. Yeah, cuz I'm going to literally talk yeah, a lot. We'll save we'll save it for like 15 minutes. But anyway, um last night we watched we're just going to go through a little bit. We watched the uh pay-per-view uh what was it? All, no. all Elite uh, watched, Wrestling, oh. so AEW, uh, Double or Nothing. Double or Nothing. I'll just say All In. Double or Nothing, uh, MGF swerved us. He's, yeah, that was that was the biggest thing of the night. Yeah, Vince uh, and I agree. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. No, no, it was, it was huge. It was huge. It was huge. What did he do? This guy was watching press at like 1.30 in the morning. One, one thirty in the morning. Because in Vegas, it was, it's three hours behind, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead. I yeah, talked so, for the last 10 minutes. So <laughs> MJF, if, if if you're not a wrestling fan, it's, it's going to be foreign to you. But MJF, he's like one of the biggest heels in all of wrestling. Yeah. He was supposed to fight his bodyguard in the storyline. They were building him up, Wardlow, right? Oh, so that's where it comes he, from. He was supposed to do a fan meet, uh, like a fan meet and greet, and he, he didn't show up, and he booked a flight out of Vegas. But at night, at 10 o'clock at night. So he's like, he, he's leaving. What? Like this guy's pissed off. He wants more money because there. So backstory: there's contract disputes going on with MJF and AEW. Yeah. So that's why we were like, "Okay, hey, this is real." Wardlow, like Augie mentioned, he's on this like track right now that it's he is blazing hot right now. Insane. One of the hottest superstars in wrestling, clearly, like WWE, New Japan, everywhere. Yeah, like it's Wardlow. He's and we're watching them. it live. Really. Right? Dude, oh, he's, it, dude, he's on fire it's right like now. It's like Batista ass. Yeah, like when dude, you he's Batista on fire right now. Wow. So, they, uh, so MJF is having these contract disputes. So we're sitting here and like wrestling insiders are sitting there like, man, he's screwing Wardlow because he's mad at Tony Khan from AEW. So then keep going. So I wake up to a text the next morning and from Anna like 2.30 in the morning, just like MJF left. Like the, it's, it's canceled. I was like, what's going on? It was trending on Twitter. This guy's leaving. He didn't show up to the meet and greet. Everything. So we're like, yo, what are they going to do with this match? Like, is he going to show up? It's a huge match. Up? And it was massive. Yeah. They were literally built. This was making 
Wardlow. Yeah. This match was making Wardlow. Yeah. They were building this up for like Wardlow. literally three to four. Like months. if you go back to like WWE days, this was when like Batista left Evolution. Yes, that, that's a good yeah. yeah. Like that, it's that's huge. The same thing. That it's is huge. huge. That is kind of so good. we're we're watching the pay per view and the first match. MGF song comes on like, yo, is he showing up? And he showed up. But they Ooh. waited too. They waited. Yeah. He did come out right away. And he, so we're like, okay, like what's happening? He mocked everyone. He made like a, he was going around like the, the ring. Like he was trying to be an airplane. He like shot the finger <laughs> to the crowd. Oh, because he bought the ticket. Yeah. But like, I'm like, he worked us. Like he's just the best heel in wrestling. And where he like he, blurs the line. Oh, he's 20, like three years old. Yeah, he's young, man. Oh, what the? I didn't he's like he was 23 young. Or 20. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's young. so young, oh. man. So like, and it was an awesome match when we seen Wardlow literally become, become a star. star. Yeah. Like in front of it, it was all it's incredible. Wow. Star's yeah. born. No, legit. Honestly. We literally yeah. seen it. And uh, he, he was crying at the end. Yeah, he was crying. It was just a regular match, but he just felt like I made it. Like, like dude, it was incredible. The, the fan reaction get. was amazing. And the crazy thing is this guy was nowhere before AEW. Like Tony Khan picked him off of like indie shows. And now he's like he's literally his biggest get. Like homegrown talent, him yeah. and Jungle Boy, MJF too. Yeah. But like, yeah. Jungle Boy. And, uh, yeah, the tag team was dope. The tag team match. The Jungle Boy match was good. Jung- yeah, I'm so glad they won. Tartan, want- Tartan Express. Well, Dude, Jungle awesome. Express. Tartan Express. <laughs> the, honestly, I think the best match of the night was the Anarchy in the Arena. It was. It was insane. Is I've that never what it's called? It. I've never Bro. seen anything like it. They were literally... Ever. It was. What, it is was it? what do you mean? Okay, I'll, I'll start. I'll start. So, it was literally uh, Chris Jericho's team versus um, Daniel Bryan, like, with Combat or... The... Was it Liverpool Combat Club? Yeah, or, something like that? or Blackpool, Blackpool. Blackpool. So it was a five on five match, bro. Uh, John Moxley's song played for literally five minutes, wild thing, and these guys are beating each other's yeah. ass in the crowd, blood, everything, oh and wild thing is playing. It was. It's still playing. The smallest touch of the music still playing. It was incredible because like they came out. So the, Jericho's team came out first, and then Moxley's team. They came out like. In the uh, the rows of the crowd, yeah, like one each in the rows, right? And like you know, it's all like wow, thing. The crowd's screaming it, right? It makes my heart sing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but dude, then the Jericho team ran to them into the crowd. They're all fighting in the crowd for like, all you said, like five minutes straight. The song never stopped playing. And they were doing like cutscenes, so like pretend like I'm punching Augie, then like you're punching Vince. It's just cutscenes, cutscenes. It's like mayhem. Dude, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Like the match didn't even start yet. (laughs) The the song is still playing, crowd's still singing, and all hell's breaking. Like, dude, four guys were bleeding before they even entered the ring. Dude, it hyped me up more with the song. That's what I'm saying. The smallest touch was the song playing in the background. You know what they're doing? They know what they're doing. Dude, it was like watching a rumble in an old Greaser movie. Like there's a song playing and all hell's breaking loose. Like the coolest, the coolest. Like, like, uh, like, still I've seen, which he's not like our favorite wrestler, but um, oh, Kingston there. What's his first name? Oh, Eddie. Eddie Kingston, right? They're brawling in the middle of the ring. This guy, he was gone for like ten minutes because he fought another guy in like an elevator shaft. Dude, like they're fighting in the concourse Dude, what of is the arena. Bro, fighting in the concourse of the arena with no bodyguards. Insane. Like crowds everywhere. Yeah, like in, people in, are like, buying food and these guys are fighting. There's a little kid holding nachos and there's two guys beating the <laughs> Could crowd. Could you imagine? Yeah, it Dude, was insane. Oh, my nachos. No, the, 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 <laughs> I'd cover the I'd merch cover stand, them. like people were looking at the merch, they threw themselves into it. Like it yeah. got destroyed. Like the merch stand was destroyed. Yo, you know how much that merch probably went for out I had to set up for you guys. <laughs> Blood speared merch. Anyway, anyway, yeah, legit though. Battle worn. But like, and then they're fighting in the middle of the ring. All of a sudden, you don't see Eddie Kingston for like 10 minutes. This guy walks from the ramp, limping covered he had a white yankee shirt drenched in blood red and he's holding a gas can and he's just walking towards oh the God. ring yeah, yeah they sick. love blood eh? dude oh, it's, it's insane it. like just pour it it's a dub and like chris jericho's a wizard so it's pretty yeah cool. horrible gimmick but um, whatever good vince, match vince his new gimmick Wait, i have to tell wizard? vince i have to tell vince because vince likes wizards you do like you like wizards. Well, <laughs> uh, he is one you do so his new gimmick is what? he blows a fireball from his hand and he goes uh, no, you gotta say like him. What does he say though? What's his? He says I'm a wizard. Baby. No, he's like. Uh, <laughs> no, he doesn't. He just goes, I'm a wizard, cause I'm a wizard. That's literally what he says. And there's fire in his hand. Bro, like it, he blows it in people's faces, like a, a ball of fire. It like floats too. I'm, I'm not gonna be like. You like too him. picky, but like, what, how is that a wizard? He's a wizard. How is that a wizard though? Oh no, his whole thing is I blow fire in people's faces, cause I'm a wizard. 
That's his thing. I mean, does he does he have a cape or anything? Like, no, know. he just blows fire. Pony hat. Pony hat. If he doesn't come out with a pony hat, staff, or a cape, this guy ain't no wizard. Big beard? Big He's beard? a warlock. What a loser. Nah, it, it was it was cool, man. It was cool. Any any else like stood out? The main event. Oh, the main event was we, trash. The main event was bro. Let's get off of this, but it's trash. Yeah. Well, after this, the main event yeah. was not that good. It was uh, and it was just it wasn't that it wasn't that good. There was so much more hype matches before. It was terrible. And it was a four and a half hour pay per view. Yeah, it was so long. It went to one o'clock almost. Yeah. This is another WrestleMania two nights. More, Dude, it was insane. Uh, I was like, but it was entertaining the whole way though. Yeah, it was good. And like CM Punk was trying to do um the buckshot uh, lariat. Yeah, and he missed twice. He kept falling on his Dude, knees. Dude, he missed twice. It was bad. So bad. That's like bad he, night. Like it's it's that move where like so you're on the outside of the ropes and like you slingshot yourself, but you're doing a front flip, right? And then you do a clothesline. He doesn't have like the athletic ability to do that. So when he did the front flip, he fell on his knees. Twice. So he so they, they he did it the one time and Adam Page, his opponent, was like, Okay, let's like fix it up. Sets it up again, falls again, and they're just like, Okay, like CM Punk laughed because he's point, like, yeah. fuck. And then his ass was out for like two minutes. His ass was out. The ref pulled up his pants. <laughs> Why? What no. happened? His ass was out. His, 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 his trunks just got pulled down. That was Paige though. He pulled yeah. him down. Yeah. Wow. I don't know why. Why didn't you pull him up? His ass was out. Uh, Jeff Hardy was under the substance abuse again. Yeah. I don't want. Sure. I don't want to oh. assume anything. Oh. I don't they didn't. They, didn't they actually. Oh. They didn't have the match. No, they no, did. No. But like Jeff something was, was something off. was wrong with Jeff. Something was off. His like, boots were undone for the whole match, and he was like on the floor. It was weird, man. But it then was he was pulling something. stuff off. Yeah, but it was weird. So man. I hope he honestly, if I hope it's something, I hope, I hope just he gets hung over. Or, no, I don't know. You gotta no. be clean, bro. You gotta be clean. But anyway, <laughs> you can have a seltzer. <laughs> oh, yeah. No alcohol. Anyway, so yeah, that was pay per view. Okay, okay, guys. Uh, this is gonna probably take the rest of the. Episode. No, no, no. We uh, there's something else to talk about too. Wow. We all... Uh, did you finish Moon Knight? There's some Marvel movies. Oh, we yeah, talk I about. I didn't watch it. I watched the first episode. two episodes. Well, at least... Uh, Make it quick. A, a, a subtle thing. We we watched it. Yeah. I, I, I loved the last three. I thought it was one of the better, like, Marvel shows. That's all I was going to say, really. Yeah. Oh, Maybe I should okay. finish it, though. No, it was good, man. No, for, you didn't finish six? it? You didn't finish it? No, I did. And you don't remember. I honestly How do you not that. remember? Oh, it was a blur. Dude, it was like three weeks ago. That's what I'm saying. We should talk. We, we, got, we got to talk about things that we didn't before get talked about. The wedding was two weeks ago. Like, the wedding changed my life. I forget everything before. <laughs> wow. Anyway, what when I was going to say, big that, small. at least at Moon Knight, like, I don't know about you, Amp, but like, newfound appreciation for the character. Yeah. Things I didn't know about him. Like, I definitely suggest this one. to. Be, I know it's it's old news, but I thought we'd talk about it real quick. I definitely suggest this one for like, if like, you're on the fence about watching it. It was better than... Uh, um, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Okay, what about uh, the Hawkeye one? Was it was better, better than Hawkeye. Hawkeye right. was good. No, I didn't watch it. Was it better than Sun Knight? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, you know how good that joke was. I didn't even get it for a second. <laughs> you spatooed it on <laughs> your shirt. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. So yeah, that's what I want to say. Okay, well, I there's a bigger it. show going on. Now. I know, okay, I know, I know. But I'm there are Marvel fans, it and then Joe's gonna I'm talk saying. for eighty minutes. Yeah, okay, <sighs> so off. there was a. If you have not watched this, the there's gonna be he's heavy. He's doing the neck thing. Joe's hey, neck thing. Joe's gonna, gonna, gonna pop his head off. Uh, if if you have not <laughs> watched, so uh, Obi Kenobi. It's called Kenobi. I keep calling it Obi Wan. If you've watched Kabobji, anyway. So if you haven't watched Kenobi, we are going to talk about it. You watched Heavy spoilers. If you are a Star, I'm talking. Okay. If you haven't watched it and you are a Star Wars fan, go do it right now. Pause. Go pause. Go watch it and come back. This has been your warning. We're diving in. I'm talking about it all. I really want to hear your opinion. I'm, okay. I'm, you're the one I need to hear. You have a like, you're first, the Obi guy. First, let me set up the night. Let me set up the night. Your Obi Wan because Obi. I didn't want to. Sorry. Uh, I wanted no spo. I'm I'm still on that boat. I want no spoilers for this show. This is a show I've been waiting for literally forever. <laughs> like favorite character Since the day you're born. of all time. Like. Among all platforms, if you guys remember the top 15 list. Yeah, Faye 15. Faye 15, he's my number one. Yeah. He, Obi-Wan Kenobi, I fucking love it. Love him. I love him. I lobo him. All right? Mr. Lobo. <laughs> Mr. Lobo. Mm. So, Anthony and I, I was texting Anna, and we were like, okay, we'll watch it at midnight, right? We're going to watch it at midnight. But then we find out in Canada, it comes out Eastern Standard Time. It was going to come out at 3 a.m. We're like, here. fuck, yeah. here in, in Canada. We're like, okay, shit. You know, I was like, you know what? I'm still kind of down to watch it at 3 a.m. And this, remember, this is two episodes that came out You're at once. Free. And I was down. Like, we were like, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. 
So we decided, we're like, you know what, let's do it. We took a nap. Uh, you came over at like one. Yeah, I'm trying to sleep. You guys are came over at one. We're like, you know what? Like, no, we're doing this. Like, I'm going to go to work tired. I don't give a shit. This is Obi Wan Kenobi, man. It's my guy. He's life. So we go outside. We're like, all right, let's kill some time. Let's kill some time. We'll have a smoke. Anthony lit a cigar. I had my pipe. And then Anthony gets a Snapchat from none other than Marco Mania himself. And, and, and it's like, yo, Obi Wan's on right now. We're like, what? So right now, it came out at midnight in Canada still. You guys played yourself. So we, oh, they tweeted no, it. They tweeted it. Like, I, I don't know what happened. They're like, early release. And say, like, oh, sick. Like, no one knew. Like, oh, I was, I was, we were prepared so to start at three and go to bed at like six. Like, yeah. we were ready. We were ready. So, but whatever. We got, we got into an hour early because we, we were an hour late. Yeah. So we got, we started at two. First episode. Dude, even the cut together intro that they made with all like the past movies and stuff like that like was awesome i i got like emotional oh a hundred percent like they they teed it off perfectly they teed it off perfectly and just like to to sum it up like i we're gonna get into stuff but like i love the show i love it i love it i think they're treating like obi-wan kenobi and star wars lore with respect there's nods to the old movies there's nod to the new movies there's nods to the tv shows like Mm. it's just like summing up what Star Wars is, and it's the perfect, um, like bridge between everything. Like I'm noticing things in this that are making the newest movies make more sense, right? Like if you watch it, Obi Wan Kenobi is like defeated. Like he's defeated. Oh, he's like, I am not even a Jedi. Like I am. That's not who I am anymore. He's like, he's literally a butcher, right? It, it, it looked good. It it makes it makes Luke Skywalker's <laughs> um like thought process and his and his like demeanor in the newer movies make more sense. Because if Luke Skywalker can get like if Obi Wan Kenobi can be like that, like totally separated from like even helping anyone, like literally like small acts of like whatever, like people like uh, someone was bullying uh, in the butcher place, right? Remember, like, oh, where are the rest of my credits? Like, small stuff like that. He won't even lift a finger because he's like, I can't. Like, I think I'm it's not what it was. Though, because there's, it's such a time frame difference with Luke. I don't, not really. Yeah, it is. How is it's literally the exact same? No, no, I'm just saying, like, it's it's not the same. Like, Luke's old when he when he does that, right? He's so is Obi Wan. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm saying it's a different time frame. You know, it's a different time. He, it, I guess I guess Obi Wan's a little younger. Is yeah. that what you're kind of saying? Yeah, I guess. But it's the same mindset. Where they're yeah, like, I, I guess you're right. I'm, yeah, you're I'm not Obi Wan Kenobi anymore. He doesn't even call himself Obi Wan Kenobi, even to mm-hmm. even to people that he's known, like Leia's like like adopted parents, like her parents. He doesn't even call himself Obi Wan. He's right. like, my name's Ben. Yeah, Ben. He's gone that far. He's he is not a Jedi man. Benjamin. I wonder where point. he landed on Ben. Like, how do you do that? Probably watched SmackDown like two. No, I uh, I knew uh, no, I knew the I knew the lore. Oh oh oh, um, because um, what's her name? Satine from the Mandalorian, the Queen of Mandalore, called used to call him Ben. Like that was her her pet name for him. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Look that up. Oh, Look that up. I'm almost, I'm 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 about I'm about eighty five percent on that. Eighty five? I don't believe you. But they 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 teed off the show very well. It's very um, it's it's more I don't want to say graphic. But like, they're they're diving into it more than I thought they would. Like, dude, literally within the first ten minutes, and like a lady gets her hand chopped off. Like, just That's like, true, yeah. just like, like standing in the crowd by a an inquisitor. Like, what the heck? It's crazy. You found it. Yeah, it didn't say. Check it out. Someone check it out. I remember watching in the Clone Wars. It doesn't really just go with that. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Anyway, so but like, not not. What did you guys think? What did you guys think? Like, cause I'm gonna be talk. I I feel like I was talking a lot. Okay, go down the line. Well, I watched it with Joe. So Joe basically summed up everything. I I he literally okay. Listen, as I'm watching it with Joe, he's literally saying this to me, calling everything that's happening in the show. I, I have okay. That yeah. That that's one thing I was gonna talk about. I feel like I have been calling a lot you're of stuff. Be- you're the Obi Wan Kenobi. Dude, you're Filoni's like king. air. <laughs> Joe's the light side or the. <laughs> I'm the heavy side. What? Dark side. What? I, what? I, gotta be the, I gotta be the dark side right now. What? You're, oh, gonna be, you're gonna. He hates it. No, no, I don't. But like, tell tell me what you don't like about it. Has to be balanced. Wait, we'll see. The table. No, we'll sum up both episodes. Balanced, you sum up both episodes. Okay, so I'll sum up, I'll, sum up both episodes. Then we'll, and then we'll, we'll talk, talk about. It. Okay, so the first episode, right? We we you. see Obi Wan. Oh we see what Obi Wan has become. <laughs> like he's just so defeated. Like he's literally watching Luke from afar. Like. 
to the point where he's but he's at the point where he's almost like you know what this is the life i'm gonna just live like i'm gonna fade into history yeah like he's he's almost to the point where he's like he doesn't even know if he should like train luke at this point and what's crazy too what's crazy too okay so if you remember at the end of um the uh episode three he goes to tatooine obviously to watch over luke and he's supposed to go train with qui-gon right because Qui-Gon is within the living force, right? Oh, That's what Yoda they, told him. They keep, like, calling to him. I want to see him. So, so Obi-Wan, he wakes up in the middle of the night, right? Wake, from a nightmare. And he calls. He goes, Master Qui-Gon. He hasn't spoken to him yet. He hasn't gotten the training. He's been on Tatooine for 10 years. He's been by himself for 10 yeah. years. He is losing hope. Like, he is, like, beyond hopeless at this point, Obi-Wan, yeah. right? All he's holding on to is, like, I need to protect Luke. But I think he's thinking, I need to protect Luke from everything. But, like... I am not going to train him. Like, I'm going to hide him. I don't think he wants him to be. But then there's that subtle nod where, like, what's really cool is you see Obi-Wan Kenobi giving him that ship, right? The I, be, I believe it's the, what is it called? The Y-Wing? No. It's, it, he gives him a ship. The YMCA wing, yeah. He gives him a ship, right? And then Uncle Owen, like, tosses it out. But we see Luke Skywalker playing with that ship in, like, the first episode. Like, when he's, like, when Ben yeah. Kenobi's literally, like, he meets uh, C-3PO and R2-D for the first time, Luke Skywalker's playing with that same ship that Obi-Wan gave him, which is so fucking cool. So there's subtle nods like that. But anyway, Obi-Wan defeated, all that stuff. We see the Inquisitors. Um, Reva is obviously, like, the main villain of this, or, like, she's the main antagonist. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, by the end of the episode, we, re- we um, see that Obi-Wan has to save leia which i didn't even think we were going to see leia in this mm-hmm. at all i didn't think we were going to see it's alderaan nice super cool and the actress that got to play leia like i know a lot of people are saying she's annoying i love her she's How supposed she to annoying? be annoying i love her she's literally like a she's like a young carrie all. fisher yeah. like yeah, yeah. it's she, great i like, I like the... she's great i, she's I think great. it's just hard with child actors it, it, it is yeah. tough but i, I, I think they did i know except stranger things they got that one right yeah they did they true change things really good by the way anyway one thing that took me out of the episode of episode one the rabbit guy. Did anyone see the rabbit guy? No. They, when they at, at the butcher thing, the rabbit guy. Whenever there was a rabbit guy, that's what you look at. I really want to figure. Oh, I didn't. Sir. See, I want to. No. Figure. What took me out of it? <laughs> it's Peter Condo. <laughs> what took me out of it was, uh, why the fuck is Flea in this? <laughs> From the Red Hot yeah. Chili Peppers. Why? Where? He's the one that kidnaps <laughs> Princess Leia. He's oh the bald God. guy. Wow, I did not. I'm like, why is that? Flea in this? I'm like, oh, I, okay. so, sometimes I like when they bring in guest appearances, but like, come on. The, the one that threw it off for me was the uh, like the fake Jedi. What's his name? Camille Nanjani or, just or something like that. Yeah, took he took me out, me out too. I, that's so that was gonna be my complaint. Like, so he comes in episode two, right? Yeah. Or maybe episode no, he's, one. He's in, he's, in two. he's in two. Okay, so. Uh, I believe his name is Camille Nanjami. I I'm, I apologize if I'm if I'm butchering oh, the name. No. Isn't that his name? Neil Pastrami. Shut up. <laughs> so he's 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 being passed off as like a, a Jedi, right? That he's trying to help people like that guy get wasn't off the world. A Jedi? He wasn't, and I called it right when he fucking did it. So eh? why do you have the saber? He didn't have a saber. It was fake. I like that. I, it makes sense that there was like pe- that people that people are swindling. Like yeah, yeah like exactly. That, it's exactly. cool. Like, Wait. Oh no! I'm, I'm, never mind. Just I've the never fact mind. that it was him. About the other you're talking it took me out of it. Yes, yes. He's, 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 oh no! He's talking about the comedian. He's oh, okay, too. Okay, yeah, that's he's why. too much of like, com- He's too much comedic relief. Like he yeah. didn't. He didn't play a straight man. Like I actually think Bill Burr did a better job of Mandalorian. Oh, I, I like. I, agree, I, I think he's a bit of a better yeah, actor. They could have got like a nobody to do that role. I know, and and it honestly would have been better because then if they yeah. would have did callbacks, like it would have been cool. Yeah. Anyway. That happens. Obi Wan Kenobi lands on, I believe, Coruscant. I, th- I think that's where he is. Um, I'm, I'm, I kind of forget where he is. But anyway, he goes to find Leia. Really cool nod. We see uh, a retired um, 501st yeah, soldier. 501st. That was sad. Man. Which yeah. is so sad. You see him. He's literally like, and call back to like they got the original actor. They got thing, right? Yeah. Well, I always forget his name. But they got the guy that played Jango Fett and Boba. Like, yeah. What's his name? I know. I've always forget. I know, I know. Um. Anyway, they so, got him. T- Timuria Morrison. Yeah. Tomorrow Morrison. Morrison. Yeah. Yeah. So they got him, which was a cool nod. Cool. But like, think about like how deep that subtle nod is. Like, first off, it's the five hundred first. We know that they ransacked and killed like the younglings, which we saw at the beginning of episode one. The first time we've seen it in live action. This is the first time we've seen live action um clone troopers. By the yeah. way, like those are real actors. Like, 
all the other ones like in other movies were CGI. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that opening scene was, was yeah, that opening unbelievable. scene was insane. Yeah, was cool. like, unbelievable. So we see him. He's in the 501st. Like, think about what Obi-Wan is thinking. He knows what they did. He knows that this clone trooper, if he wasn't, like, who knows if he was on anything, knows who I am. Like, I worked with – and that's Anakin's sure. army. Yeah. yeah. Just craziness. Just craziness like that. Obi-Wan Kenobi, he still has it. Like, he gets him even – he saves Leia even without the lightsaber. You can tell he's rusty. Even like he's I, just I, hesitant to use he's it. Hesitant. He's hesitant to bring him back. Yeah, exactly. He's hesitant to use it. He's hesitant to use the force. Think about it. He hasn't done these skills that he's like mastered in ten years. Yeah, hundred percent. In ten like, years, he doesn't want to go. He, like, it's almost like an addict, almost. Yeah, like, you, you don't want to go back to it. Yeah, and or he's so scared, right? He's so scared. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. He's yeah. literally like public enemy number one to the Empire. Like oh. he, Obi Wan Kenobi, oh. Vader obviously wants him. Like he is like sought after, right? So. Cool stuff like that. Um, we obviously see like a nice turnaround. He's using his Jedi powers after. We haven't seen him use a lightsaber yet, which I want to see like how he fights. I'm sure he'll grow into it more. I think so too. To. I think so too. But so what's cool too is now we realize. Um, so there was a discrepancy in like the Star Wars timeline, right? Or like in the history of it. Because Leia asks for Obi-Wan Kenobi, right? When she's like trapped or mm-hmm. like she's looking for Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't think she knows that Ben and Obi-Wan Kenobi are the same person. Because she's asking for Obi-Wan Kenobi. She's not asking for Ben Kenobi. She knows who Ben Kenobi is. And Obi-Wan introduces himself to her as Ben Kenobi. I am Ben he Kenobi. She thought it was like a cousin. Mm-hmm. Right? So she probably thought it was like a descendant of right. Kenobi. Yeah. Right? right? Because he's heard of this legendary Jedi that was still alive, thought to be alive, from Order 66. Like, up until like when Luke Skywalker meets Han and everything, like Obi-Wan is still alive, technically. Right? But she knows Ben. It makes sense why they named um, their son Ben, like not Obi Wan. Like, True. right? She True. saved him. And when Luke Skywalker like sees uh, her for the first time, Ben Kenobi sent me, not Obi Wan Kenobi sent mm-hmm. me. She goes, Ben Kenobi's here. He saved her in the first, like when she was a kid. And there's subtle nods, like you see him wow. standing the okay. same way she does, like in certain scenes. Like they just did it really well. I'll, I'll go. I'll jump to the end. I feel like I've been talking a long time. You're fine. Um, I'll jump to the out. end. So at the end, we see like Obi Wan. He's about to get Leia off world, about to save her, and Reva again, the Inquisitor, the antagonist. Um, she's chasing him, chases him. One thing I didn't like. She kills the Grand Inquisitor. Yeah, like I was surprised about that. So he killed him so fast. So like, a big complaint with the Grand Inquisitor, right, was like he didn't look like the one from Clone Wars. Right. I don't think it's the same one. Okay. I don't think that, it's the I same guess one. It's possible, right? Like, cause it doesn't make sense in the timeline. He does. He doesn't like the Grand Inquisitor that we know from uh, Rebels does not die until Rebels. So years after, mm-hmm. like probably another another like five years after. Or maybe he's not dead. Or maybe he's not dead, but like a lightsaber through the stomach yeah, is like you, you're pretty yeah. dead. So maybe we'll see the Grand Inquisitor that we know up here. I hope so. It might just be because then they would they'd be killing a lot of things by. No, I I, I don't. They, they're Filoni too, wouldn't do that. No, that's what right. No, yeah. they're not. They're but too. But it's not Filoni doing this no, show. No, it's not though. Filoni. It's uh, I believe her name is. No, Filoni's not doing this. Yeah, show. but he. No, he. There's no way they don't go to him to for that stuff. No, though. there's 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 references that they like. They're too clean with it. Like I've probably don't seen think. it. And if something was like off, he'd be like actually. What's this her name? Is... Deborah Chow, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she's killing him, by the way. Um, yeah. He's doing very so, well, very well. Um, but I think it's just a different Grand Inquisitor who happens to be on the same like species as the one that we're aware of because like even if you look at his teeth are different height different like face is different like very different it's just weird that he looks so similar I, I i know that's what i'm saying man. his head like, is I different don't know. like to me he looks as like what he would look like in a live action show he didn't even look that bad remember everyone was complaining on the show i was like no, he looks tra- okay the trailer did him dirty yeah they did yeah. Yeah. like he looks fine no he right? did so anyway reva i again i don't know what's gonna happen maybe it is the same one i think it's a different grand inquisitor um, Reva stabs him, and then we get the reveal, right? She tells Obi Wan that Anakin is still alive. That Anakin is Darth Vader. He did not know until that point, right? He That's thought crazy, he right? died on Ten Mustafar. Years. Ten years. He thought Anakin Ooh. died on Mustafar, right? Yeah. Fucked. So he sees it for the first time. You see how like out of body he is, even when he goes back on the ship. He and Leia get off world. He says Anakin. That's probably the first time he's even said Anakin, right? Since since Mustafar. And then we get the shot. We see Hayden Christensen as Vader. That was sick. In the back to tank. Yeah. Like that 
was freaking perfection, man. Yeah. Perfection, like goosebumps. Sean Hayden on. Christian finally getting some respect. Dude, he's getting the like and he's all. Loving it. I hope he's, he's loving in it more. It. Like, Dude, he's he's acting. he's gonna be a major player in it. All right, good. I hope so. Okay, so I feel like I talked a lot. You guys talk now. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead, you guys. That summed up like I, I, think, I, I pretty I, much summed I, up I, the I thought, was, I thought it was decent. I think the biggest thing for me, the biggest plus for me, was I. What was the world uh, that they land on? That Obi Wan lands on to get Leia back. That's that. That's what I'm forgetting. I whatever, thought it was whatever, Coruscant. Whatever world that is, the set and the costumes on that world were, were like insane. Very cool. You know, it reminded me of Blade Runner a little. It, it, it fit that vibe, right? Yeah, it, it was it was well, really well done. So like the costume, the sets, and everything, I think are great. I like the Grand Inquisitors too. Yeah, yeah I thought I thought they were kind of cool. Like the, even like because even them internally bickering like makes sense. It's yeah, like, you know, dark side kind of thing. That's cool. I don't like that the, the Grand Inquisitor died though. I don't. I, don't, I, I don't yeah. Like that. I don't get why he died. Well, hopefully they explain it. Like uh, why he had to. What's, what's Obi Wan's actor's name? Ewan McGregor. I thought he was good. He's, uh, he's great. I, he, he my it. one complaint that I'll say though is I think oh, I know at, what you're gonna say. at points. I don't know. I don't maybe. At points, the dialogue felt really stiff. And you know what? It kind of makes sense that you said it was Flea now. Because that kind of makes a little more sense. Because he's not the they, best. They shouldn't use these well-known people. I, to be I know honest. it they takes really you shouldn't. out of it. They're not the best. Like everyone else is like, hundred percent. I know they're trying their best. Like even like the guy, like uh, Camille Nanjami. Like he's not the best. I didn't like him in freaking Eternals. Um, I yeah, did not just, like him. I in don't this. know. It's just a, a few times. It's like it felt like they were reading. Yes. Right. And so I, what I thought you were gonna say was it was a, it's a subtle like gripe I have, and like I think I just in my own head. Um, he sometimes you and like his this Obi Wan. Sometimes the voice isn't there. Like he doesn't sound mm-hmm. like Obi Wan Kenobi to me. But I know that I watched an interview and like he's saying he's like I'm trying to make him sound older because he he's like he what he's like I want my Obi Wan to turn into Alec Guinness's Obi Wan. So he's like maybe he's changing his dialogue a it's little bit. Weird though. Like, how does that work? I don't know. So sometimes like I hear him talking, I'm like, ooh, I don't know if he's like nailing how he was. Uh, I think it's fine. Like I, I don't pay attention to it too much, but sometimes I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think the little things that you're pointing out are, are like what's carrying it. Yeah, there's just so much. So like, I, I don't like the plot isn't that strong. It's not. Like it's everything else that's making it better. But For me, like, do you mean like the Leia being like captured? Yeah. plot? I think that's just that is such a small moment because she's I, already saved. Yeah, I hope that is, and it, and it goes into something else. Yeah, I'm with but, you, Vince. Yeah, hundred percent with you. Like for me, Mandalorian is still better. Mm. Like, well, we don't 100%. know yet. Like yeah. just where we're at right now, after two episodes, yeah, I still prefer the Mandalorian. Like, like, like way more. Obviously, there's a lot of favoritism from me for the show. There is, but oh, like, yeah, yeah. I think it's it's for me right now. Currently, it's hitting every note that I wanted. I thought these two episodes were a great introduction, like reintroduction into Obi Wan, because it can't be like, you know, he's fucking doing his backflips. His lightsabers are mm-hmm. out. Like he's training Luke. Like I think a lot of people thought it was going to be him trying to train Luke, but obviously I, that no, doesn't I, happen. I'm, I'm glad that it's not that. It's not. It's, it's, it, it's, makes, it makes way more sense, mm-hmm. and it's different mm-hmm. from I, what th- we've seen before. Th- this, this to me, I think is going to be the story of like a broken, like soldier who has to like find like that like fight again. Yeah. To like n- train this like the new a new hope. Right, because right now, yeah. currently, he's not the guy. He's not Obi Wan Kenobi right now. Hundred percent. He's so not, or he's we, not the Ben we Kenobi see we that know. Transition at the last episode. I th- is the full transition going to be there? I think that's what we're building up to, because he needs to find what I think is going to end the show is he's going to start training with Qui Gon. Like something huge is going to happen where he finally accepts. Like I I'm, I am like this is my like destiny. I need to like take down. Anakin Vader or help turn him like that is my purpose like I don't think he knows his purpose right now he doesn't know his spot he was general fucking Kenobi every his whole world got turned upside down now he's just tasked with like watching this kid where he's like I don't even know if I should be doing this like am I the guy to do this so like yeah. that's what I think right now amazing what do you guys think I'll be quick I liked it wow um no very way. very intuitive no this, way. Is thing, though. this is why Can wait you, guys... you liked it i love no it. way this is a thing shout out uh prequels because i love the prequels and like this is like my this is like my star wars because like we seen uh which movie seen theaters we saw uh, attack, attack of the, the clones. clones yeah and that was like kind of my first like thing like introduction to star wars 
pretty much. Well, you used to watch the old ones, but I... Yeah. Anyway. Um, six episodes. First two episodes were fucking... I wasn't bored, which that's a big thing for me. Yeah, this guy's so I feel constantly like, on his phone when he watches shows. No, I, I wasn't. I, was, I know. That's I what I'm saying. Attention. It's impressive. So that's why I think these next four episodes, we're going to see some shit. Like, there's no time to waste. There's no. There's going to be no fat. It's just going to go. Like... You know what I mean? Yeah, what's interesting is, like, it's funny you say that. So, like, it was rumored, and we obviously knew Vader was going to be in this because Hayden Christensen has been everywhere, and we knew he was going to appear. I didn't think they were going to show him this early. I, I did. Cause you got to go, man. No, because what, what, what they said or, like, what was predicted was, like, the first three was going to be, like, a certain arc, and then the last three was Vader was going to appear. But he's fucking already in it. Well, then maybe they just showed him. Yeah, but he's not in it. He yet. just showed yeah, him. He's, he, he's been revealed. He's been revealed. But that first scene, when we see him... In Chills, the suit man. again, like we're gonna, like we're yeah. gonna feel something. Chills. No, for sure. We're gonna feel something. Anyway, uh, and what did you think? And, 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 I'm, and, I'm kind and, of uh, in between Joe and Vince. Like I have a little bit of both, but overall I like it. But I don't know if I have as much faith in, in like you just said, Augie. Like they're just gonna start going. I don't know if I have that faith. I I, I, I don't know why yeah, they I don't know either. There's no time like, to it, waste it, an episode. I don't know, man. It I don't, can go either way. Yeah, you know? it could, and I'm worried that it's going the other way. I. I'm big on like I like little Leia, but like Vince was saying, I kind of hope like he start turning Wraps away, off that, yeah. right? Like, I think I think this would be I think she'll be end going of the day. To why are we watching this show? Obi Wan, Obi Wan, and Anakin. Yeah, yeah. That's why we want to watch this. Show. I want an Let's Anakin. Be I want an Anakin okay? live action. It's the biggest. It's the one of the biggest things in Star Wars besides Luke and in in Anakin. Obi Wan and Anakin's relationship, right? It's For sure, huge. huge. That's what we want to see. We've been waiting so long to see this. It's so cool how they're doing these little nods and they're tying so much together, like Joe mentioned with Leia and all that. So cool. You did it. Let's move on. Let's let's get I, to what we want to see. I I think that's what's going to happen. Like I'm maybe I'm putting too much faith in it, but I I I don't see where else the Leia story can go. I think it's done. He's gonna deliver her to her family. That'll be it. He's gonna head back to Tatooine or something like that, or or a new mission will appear where. Now that he knows Anakin is alive, maybe that's that spark where he goes, maybe I can save him, or maybe that's maybe that's him. He's finally letting go, like he's gone. Right. He's gone. Anakin, the Anakin I know is 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 actually dead. He's now Darth Vader. Maybe that's what he needed, because he still needs to train with Qui Gon. We at the end of the day, we know his story. We know his end. Right. It's how he's how is he going to get to that point? That's what this show is. Yeah. How is Obi Wan going to get to where we see him in A New Hope? Confident, knows who Luke is, knows what he has to do. Yeah, that's it. How do we get there? Yeah. He's got to have yeah, a new we'll hope. Man. That's it. That's, and, and Luke uh, is it? Uh, do you guys know if this is one season? Like, does anyone know? Apparently, it's a limited series. This is the only one. Yeah, I heard that. This is it. This is it. That, yeah. yeah, that's what I. Understood. That's why I'm like, they're not going to waste. Like, that's why I think I mean, it's just going to go. They started wasting a bit. No, no, I thought bro, the first. Two? I don't. I don't. How? How? Bro, else? listen. The stuff with Riva can all get scrapped. It's. I. That's one thing. I'm like, why that are they? That can all get scrapped. That has nothing to do with anything in this story. Well, we don't know. Well, she. We, yes, we do. Well, she's, she's a, a big. She's, key. An, she's, she's, she's told, an, No, Augie. She's an original character. She has nothing to yeah. do with the story. We've never met her before. No, but she told Obi Wan that. Which I hated. Because who are you? Anakin's alive. Yeah, but who are you? That's she that needs. Cool. She's gonna be a somebody. That that needs to be That's revealed. That needs to be revealed. I'm just saying. I'm not the. I'm not the minority. Like on online, people do not like that she came out of nowhere. This original character, whoever it was, and told Obi Wan. Yeah, but what if she's a big like a key? But, we don't know where she fits in yet. I I don't. I just don't think so. And she if, could. Hey, she could. Yeah. There's theories, and I and 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 I mentioned it to you when we were watching it. I think she was one of the younglings that we see at the beginning. And well, I think that's obvious at this point, though. Not, after you mentioned it, so, so, uh, not when I when I was watching it, I didn't know, that right? Because so why? But see, so, the one thing I'm like, but well, then why does she have so much hatred towards the Jedi or like Obi Wan specifically? Is 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 Vader, um, like really like pointing her out? Why does she know so much? Like you know what I mean? Like did, did does Vader favorite her for some reason? Did she see the uh, tapes? Yeah, but how much Vader, time do we have Anakin here? With four episodes. Vader? That's what um, I'm trying to say. They're long episodes, though, bro. Like, I want to know everything about Obi Wan's journey, like you just said, to A New Hope. Yeah. I hey. don't care about Reva. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't need an original character right now. Yeah. You know what though? You know what, you know what I'm trying to say? You know what? Like, though? this show is about Kenobi and Anakin. You can but like the need... little Luke and Leia ties are great. Cool. 
great. I don't need an original character. Yeah, right but now. we need a catalyst. We need someone to push it forward, right? It can't be Vader right away. I'm not it saying it has to be the, Vader right away. It but can't like, be an Inquisitor that we've we've seen right away. I don't think. And I hope that, like you said, I hope that's not the Grand Inquisitor. Cause that's just. I don't think it is, man. Off. I don't it's, think it is. The more I think about be. it, I don't think it is. But we'll find out. We'll find out. Wednesdays. I cannot fucking wait. It debuted on Friday and it's out Wednesdays. Yeah, just the first week it was like that. I don't know why. I'm literally staying up every Wednesday night though. Well, night. no, it'll be, it'll be on Tuesday. Tuesday night. at midnight. Oh, I'm staying up every Tuesday night. <laughs> or 3 a.m. I don't know. They might tweet you. Hey. Yeah. I lit- So after Early. the fucking movie tomorrow, I'm literally going home and watching it. Oh, yeah. We're okay. seeing Doctor Strange tomorrow. Finally. 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 Even yeah. though I know everything that happens. I actually yeah. don't know anything. Bro, everything in that movie was idea. spoiled like the you know, day it came out. Okay, so this is how you know Vince is done with Marvel when he doesn't know a spoiler. You don't know I don't, anything? No, it's not I even on his timeline. Know, it's not even on his timeline. Yeah, it's, exactly. Because it's not on any wait. of his social timelines. That's how you know a man is so done spoiled. with a property. Yeah, are, are, we, are we over time right now? No. Here's there's, there's no such thing. I need to say something. Oh, God. And I'm going to shout out to Dan. Our buddy Dan. Say no more. Because uh, I had a very long discussion with him about this. So the Thor trailer dropped. Oh, yeah. Yep. And so much Gore is in it. The God Butcher. Yep. Which is like, that story is like my favorite story, Thor story ever. Like, and I remember because I went to high school with Dan. I gave Dan those comics in high school and like he fell in love with it at the same time. And we, were, we both loved it. Like we thought it was amazing. So this was big. Like when this trailer dropped... Like, since high school, we've been hyping up gore and all this. And, like, so now we finally seen gore. And, like, the the reception online is, like, they really like how he looks and everything. So he's not I comic book Christian accurate. Bale. I hate it. I hate it. Everything about it, I hate it. He looks creepy enough. He looks nothing like him. Yeah, he doesn't look anything like him. He doesn't like have, him. like, the tendrils. Yeah. He doesn't have, like, the symbiote thing. Yeah. His sword is just a normal sword. It's yeah. not even, like, the, the, like what, the gooey sword. What if he changes, though, in the movie? I hope he does. I, like, yeah. I hope what we've seen in that trailer, I hope that's not what he actually looks like. like yeah, throughout I, the whole I, thing. I, yeah, but he could change. If if I just had a screenshot of that, I would not think it's him. Like, just out of context. Me, yeah. me and Amber were talking about this. I don't think Christian Bale would have said yes to, like, a movie if it wasn't, like, intriguing. Like, he must be, like... I don't know, man. He probably got a lot of money. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know if he's, like... I, I don't know. It's just, like, I'm... I, like, kind of lost hope with this. Like, Are you going to go see it? I, I'm going to see it, but, like... What was your guy? I feel like my heart's gonna be broken after that movie. Like you don't understand what that that story is like. That's my favorite but, story. Like that's my favorite comic story. I just kind of lost hope with Thor after um. What's the what's the, the first s- movie? The, the, no no no. Well, the, the first movie I like. I didn't like it, but I was like, yeah, that's Thor. Showed and then the second one, I was like, yeah, that's yeah. still Thor. He's kind of bland. But then like what was the uh, what was the third one? Ragnarok. Ragnarok. I was like, it what? Was the on fuck the second am I one. That's no. the third one. No, yeah, this Dark is the World. Dark World. Oh, shit, this is the so I was like, "What the yeah, fuck?" Man. They made him funny. Like I just, it I was a comedy. Uh, it was in the comedy genre. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Like, I I don't know if they should have did that it's with Thor. Man. People like it. It's fine. I don't like it. So it's like, terrible. Thor has some like huge villains and like his stories, like his comic book arcs are like favorite, man. very serious, oh. like life or death stuff. Like it's, we'll see. I don't know. So that's <laughs> lost. On me, so but we'll, we'll see, man. So yeah, you're sad. totally right. Opening night, Vince, or what? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, sure. Really? Just like Doctor Strange. <laughs> a month later? Yeah. We got an opening night like uh, <laughs> Thor uh, one. Uh, that night. was a legendary night. We'll go, was... we'll go LARPing, dude. That was a great night. Okay, so uh, that's episode one sixty. That's a beefy one. Six. <laughs> Lots of topics. Uh, we had a lot. Uh, we, we were back. Um, we are back whoa, 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 whoa. and better than ever. Uh, we're talking about Kay. one. We talked about. Cottage. You don't have to recap what we talked about. Married. I got married. It's it's crazy, man. What? Married to the game. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, we we did our, our first episode in five weeks, and this guy's like drained. I got okay. Drained. So uh, let me remember. Are this. you serious, dude? This guy. This, this. He's gonna butcher yeah, it. This is CM Punk all over again. I'm Gord, <laughs> the intro butcher. <laughs> <laughs> so we got. They're Gordo. Uh, Gordo. You're Gordo. We got okay. If you like what you hear, we have 165 this episode. Blah, blah, blah. We have 165 episodes you can listen to on all your favorite podcast streaming platforms. I'm not going to say them because we're on everywhere. Everywhere everywhere you are, we're there. On your favorite podcast, wow, Michelle right Branch. beside them. Uh, it just hurts every We're time. on YouTube. We're on Instagram. We're on TikTok. We're on Facebook. We're all there. Yeah. That hurt. Was that uh, good? That hurt. Oof. No, it wasn't. That was Iron Man 3 level. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, we gotta we need to hire someone to write a script Can for you. Every week. No. 
Dude, you guys, you've had 166 I, episodes to get this down. I'm practice in the mirror, bro. Practice in the mirror. The, you you practice your Wardlow stance, but you can't do this. Yeah. There you go. Wardlow. Dude, all right. That was not 120% dino. That was, that was like 60%. That's it. That was okay. 60% dino. Later. Peace.